Something feels odd here. Be on your guard.
Did you like my boost art? Yeah, it was off the charts. I just noticed none of you other Danans have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Danon slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renin doctor who's sympathetic to our kind, and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. I'm my own woman. And this is my chance to have a new beginning. some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What? You mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh... uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really. Just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that. Unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking. The history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. 
Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. I sense a strange power from this. Visibility along this path will remain limited for some time. Take care not to get ambushed. I'm surprised you know the terrain here so well. Lords don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. Sometimes I would take strolls along here when I wished to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any of us guardsmen. how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elderman and Sia Guard. So, in a way... Using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. Next one! Dragon! Already on! 
Did you see? Sure did. The part where you swung and missed, right? Not that part! It's so hilly around here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. That's mountain hiking for you. It can be pretty tough if you're not used to these sorts of trails. I take it you're comfortable with them, then? Oh, yeah. We used to run up and down these slopes all the time for our training exercises. Damn. You weren't messing around. More Dan and Ruins here, too, I see. What were... People even thinking back then, trying to build anything around here. M maybe they just had that much time and energy on their hands. <sighs> sure I've built up a sweat with this hike. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here, quite literally. So Mahog Song's just up ahead then? Indeed. Like truck for the Together we've got this! Ready? Ready? Dance in the wind! Rising Wyvern! Radiant here! You're on! Dance in the wind! It's over! Searing flames! Rising Wyvern! 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 If it's in the sky, it's mine! Go time to follow the take this! Do it! Look, Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! What's this place here? Some kind of old house? Hmm... even after in the end. Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the crown contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt, even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. 
I know I've said this before, but Danon's and Renan's wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Xion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <laughs> Nice and tough. Victory for the ages.
that big tower over there? I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. Did we really just spend that much money? This way, I guess. Read the landing. Biceps. Pretty glorious, right? Why are guys so obsessed with their muscles? 
Because these puppies have yet to let me down. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry. I've got your back. Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do, too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Ugh. What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Gisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... 
That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Stop for a minute. What's up? Are you tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already. I need a break, so we're taking one. <sighs> I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... for you. For me? Why? Is all I desire. Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? Hmm. Oh, 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 no. Lightning Damn it. Take this. I never missed. Thunderblade. Take this. Demon Pay. Demon Pay. Who the hell are you? <clears throat> Bastard. This guy's not normal. Unbelievable. You mean he even surpasses a lord? Now you see what I can do! No escape! Demon Pay! More with that paper dog! Demon Pay! Take it out! Here I go! Demon Pay! 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 Here I go! Like me again. Take Demon this! Yes, it's a win! It's too much! Take this! Over! I'll tear you apart! I can handle it! Take this!
Is that all that you've got? Very well. Then die. <gasps> Wake up, please! Alfin? Shion! Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad? That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh? Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey.
Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> This is horrible. Is there truly no one here? used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big. All of you, stop right there! Don't move! They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? You first! Show yourself! I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. What are you... My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Beifong of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. You do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadeye. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. 
Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, uh, yes. I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. So you're Elfin, are ya? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. Shh, Rayan? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the blazing sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then- mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. Friends? Renans are Renans. The scum-sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! But you know that. Maybe it's because you and the little lady are friends and more. <laughs> That's enough! Dead on. You know that was completely uncalled for. Hmm. All of you, get the hell out of my realm! And don't ever come back! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here! And I make the rules! I do! Dead I'm! Leader of the Dark Way! Yeah! Dead I'm! Liberator Dead I'm! You are the true leader of this realm! We're not afraid of any bright eyes! It's only a matter of time before I throw every last bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! Hey, wait up! Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? 
I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon? Dead I mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renans as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renans. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. Hey, if we find anyone who needs help here... I know. Hmm, what the fuck? Hmm? <laughs> yeah! Good. All right! I forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh, yes. I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit, this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent, but in skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. How to comb your hair is equally important. And learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there... She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, and another thing. About your owl, Rinwell. What is it? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> this is why I hate you, Renans! Did I say something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all.
let's see what's going on around here. Yeah. That dead I'm creep certainly has a few screws loose, that's for sure. Forget that guy. Right now, we need to discuss how we're going to proceed. What's there to discuss? Dead Eye and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. I want to go after her. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Darkwings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. You make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance at defeating her. I have to agree. This realm isn't going to be truly safe as long as that lord is still running around out there. We need to act. Fine by me. But isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. For now, we'll head to this Esteluva forest Bayfon told us about. Whatever we decide to do, though, we should take some time to rest first. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Where are you going? Alfin. You should get some rest. What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I will when you do. Have it your way. Shion. The Lord's days are numbered. I haven't forgotten our promise. You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? So, we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Esteluva Forest. Next time, pay attention. Something wrong? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, uh, etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. 
That's not being frank, that's being an... and... forget it. Do we really need to talk about this now? Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns me greatly. What do you want us to do? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm... I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up! I wasn't that offended by what you said, man! Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. If you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Got sand in my eyes! The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. <coughs> Even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. Hoodle, don't get blown away, okay? <sighs> oh? <sighs> hey! Sure. Uh <laughs> Well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. I have a Fire bad feeling about this. Storm. 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 I owe you one. Demon Whoa. flag! Away. I'm ready! Dance in the wind! Dread. I never miss! These ones can run rings around us! Demon flag! It's on! Come and face me! Lightning condensed! Reload! Thunder flag! I see you all there! Prepare to be sealed, though. Do it! This one's got your name on it! Ashes to ashes! Here I come! Uh, I'm out! Swallow blood! Uh, uh, Shiny Supernova! Uh, Here I come! Here I come! Spread! All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. Somehow, 
things are even worse outside the city than, ooh, 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 than they are ooh, inside. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's all ruined. Houses and everything else. Even if it was all in the name of beating the Renants, this is... You guys want to rest here? This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. Isn't that what we were asked to find?
Make for some good weapon crafting material. They were all that easy. Yeah, I think we might be getting too strong. Isn't that good? Play along, would you? This place goes pretty deep underground. It was probably built that way so it could still be used even if the above ground portion got destroyed. Perhaps that's why it's still here, and why it was made into her hideout. It would certainly stand to reason. The sort of unsavory research she wouldn't want to see divulge. Even to other Renans? That's a scary thought. I've got a really bad feeling about 
energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. It would appear we can descend down where the railing has fallen apart. What? Are you serious? when you can send them flying. Airborne scout. 
Astral energy! Say no more! Shut! Well done! Demon Fang! Radiant Ultimate! Eat this! Will this threat. help you? Photon Leave the ensnaring to me! Yeah! Did you just heal me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. Get toasty! Burn strike! Demon Eat this! Eat this! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! I can feel my precision improving. This will make us even more formidable. What's this thing? Oh, no! 
Read the landing.
There's nobody here. It's been nothing but Zoogles. No lords, no Renan forces. They have to be holed up somewhere, right? From the look of things, I don't think anybody's been here for a while. If anyone was here, they're long gone now. That can't be. Look out! We'll figure this out later. Right now, this thing needs dealing with. I don't understand. Did they fall alive? He didn't seem the type to lead us on a wild goose chase. Hey, save your questions until after we manage to finish this thing. In a bind? Now I'm in the 
So much for finding the Lord. Come on, let's get back to Niaz. Shion, calm down. This isn't like you. What's wrong? Talk to me. It's none of your concern. Even after everything we've been through together? The two of us are only helping each other because our interests overlap, remember? Are you serious? You helped me come to terms with Zephyr's death. You put your life on the line to save me. Don't tell me you did all that out of necessity. That it was only because we have a common goal. <sighs> Fine. Huh? You don't want to answer? Then I'll do whatever I like from now on, too. Clearly, I'm just bothering you. So it doesn't matter if you tell me what's on your mind. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop looking out for you. Not now, not ever. That's not fair. Why can't you just leave me alone? You don't know the first thing about me. But I do. I know you care about the pain of others. <sighs> You care, Xion. That's why I want to help. Because of my thorns, I thought I had been doomed to a life of solitude. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. And now? Truth is, I'm trying to end my curse and get rid of my thorns. Get rid of? There's a way to do that? Really? I'm not completely sure. All I know is there's a chance. But that's the reason I need the Renes Alma. The Renes Alma? The Master Core to end all Master Cores. It is bestowed upon the winner of the Crown Contest, the new Sovereign, as proof of their victory. It must be assembled from all five Master Cores. That's why taking down the Lords is so important to you. But Shion, you're not in this alone. If there's a chance we can rid you of your thorns, I'll be by your side the whole way. That includes us, right? Like it or not, you're going to have to get used to relying on us every now and then. What kind of friends would we be otherwise?
Thank you. Dan in Liberation and the Renis Alma. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. If we have any hope of finding this Lord and their Master Corps, we start by heading back to Nias. Man, who would have thought we'd ever... About damn time. Took long enough. Oh, but that's... Right. I can't wait. Head on over to the plaza. What's going on? It seems busier here than before. Hey, look! Isn't that Bayfon over there? Ah, there you are. It seems I owe you all an apology. I'm guessing you didn't find the Lord back in the forest, did you? No, but something tells me you already knew that. That I did. Turns out I bit down on some bad intel when I should have known better. Apparently, Deadeye's not as trusting of me as I thought. But why would he feed you bad intel? My guess? He wanted me to lead you all astray. Make sure you weren't sniffing around where he didn't want you to be. While you were off in the forest, I got word that one of our squads captured the Lord. The place wasn't even close to where you were searching. I see. Well, the important thing is that you finally caught her. Did you suffer many casualties? You're not going to believe this, but she didn't even put up a fight. She had no escort either. Well, what about her Master Corps? Was it recovered? Sorry. They only briefed me on the basics. For now, Deadheim's getting ready to make his victory speech out in the plaza. In the meantime, I've been ordered to set up a defense perimeter around the outside of the city. So I'll be out of town for a while. I imagine Deadeye will announce what he intends to do with the Lord during his speech. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Anyway, until next time. A Renan Lord surrendering without a fight? Something doesn't add up here. I'm afraid I can't say I know much of her Lordship personally. There's a lot about this that doesn't make sense. The Master Corps is a concern too. Let's stick around like Bayfon suggested and see what happens. We don't leave until we get to the bottom of this. I'm worried about just... What 
Deadeye has in store for Almadria. For now, let's wait at the end until he gives his victory speech. Everybody's so excited. They can hardly be blamed. When they've apprehended an enemy leader, Said. Yeah. Isn't there some way to calm them down? These must be the Danons the Dark Wings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. This is the place Bayfon said Deadeim would reveal the Lord's fate. I wonder what he'll do to her. <sighs> well... Is that...? Yes. It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop! No good can come of such hatred! Stop or there'll be no turning back! <laughs> Is this supposed to be justice? <laughs>
I did warn you, did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hatred. <laughs> What do we have here? Could it really be the witch from Den? <laughs> Honestly, existence back then. I guess there was one survivor after all. Mm. Hey, Rinwell! Shut up! This is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you! Rinwell. <laughs> I'll kill you. I swear it. I will kill you! for his father? Don't I deserve that as much as you? <laughs> Move aside. If you don't, then I'll blast you again. Even so, sorry. I'm afraid that I can't let you do that. No way. I can't let you kill her. Not while your face is full of the same hatred as those people who died. <laughs> you saw what she did. What are you saying? She should just get away with it all? You're right. And well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but still, I know it's wrong. If you go through with this, I know you'll regret it. I'm sorry. I am. Forgive me. I can't believe you. You, of all people. Of all the people! <laughs> show quite finished. Why, you... For many years of my life, I devoted myself to the study of astral arts. But the knowledge I took from your family was truly enlightening indeed. For that, you deserve a reward. I shall allow you to taste one of the fruits of my labor. Sorry for almost blowing me up. 
Hey, not like it's the first time. Come on, we need to take her down. Okay. Aim for the weak spot. Get 
Is everyone all right? Yeah. But I'm major. It got away. Linwell, are you... What... What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside the city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Matria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalek, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used men in Sia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. 
Falseth and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what Hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? <sighs> She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now. But I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there. Please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... I'll think about it. A reason to live. Without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure. But west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She spent years building a ship there. A floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing. But now... Of course. She's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's as good a lead as any. Let's go. What's that woman going to do next? Nothing good, I'll bet. We'll stop it this time. <laughs> help here mm -hmm. well I see <laughs> mm. 
Chat. Excuse me. <laughs> Good. That's some cryptic text, all right. It could mean anything. This is perfect! I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this!
You guys want to rep? Just here. Sense one of your pals, Hoodle? We should be able to cook here. What's with that shining foe over there? One of your pals, Hoodle? I see plenty of ruins around here, too. It must have been a big town bustling with people back in the day. For Crown Contest participants, places such as these are but vectors for the astral energy they pursue. Similar to that windmill, for instance. seem to have come across something a little unusual. <laughs> on the prize. Glacial Spear! 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 
where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought? I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat. Even if there are signs of destruction, it would likely have taken place during the Great Conquest of 300 years prior. And ever since, it's been a breeding ground for Zoogles, I guess. No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danitz. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail.
We've reached our destination. I wonder if something happened. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
We've reached our destination. Looks like we made it here in one piece. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. said we could take it easy. There's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the Crown Contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the Crown Contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. 
It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead I'm did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him, too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us, too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeim. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well... I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabelle didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? 
Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But I guess I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. Much further, you'll go overboard. Keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship? I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the Crown Contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet... They didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So... I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenigus, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? 
No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah. We are. moving how can you stand it how can you even stand i'm not the best person to ask about discomfort i can't feel pain remember i still can't believe what happened in niez even now as a lord my expectations for almadria were already pretty low but the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings yeah and it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like dead I'm. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us, but nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in? It's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadheim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. 
And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Ooh, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes?
took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just... goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. I wonder how much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria. I'll ask Mahavar. Who's up? Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's huge. Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. Long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. A ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Hungry already, my dear. Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship, so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria.
she on? Um, I want to thank you. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Radar. Now you see what I can do! My Three, 
Shion. No choice. Marine attack! Stop it now! Demon attack! They really don't give up, do they? Got you now! Demon attack! Do it! I'll tear you apart! Astral energy! Full throttle! Lightning contest! All take. Great Great Now you see what I can do. Back into the fray. Take this. Demon Like we got them all. Never seen anything like it. It's an authentication key. They're quite common. Maybe where you're from, but this is new to me. It might go in an elevator somewhere. We should test it out. Sharks! 
Seems about right to me. This is... I remember seeing instruments just like this back in Estaluva Forest. It looks and smells like some kind of med...
Lightning Tiger Blade! With this, I can become even stronger! Looks like some solid equipment. one of your friends, Hoodle? A barrier. That may indicate... What is that huge flower-looking thing up there? Is that the ship's engine? Indubitably. As one might expect, large ships require large engines in order to sail. And if we destroyed it? We might well sink the ship. Who knows if we would be able to escape before that happens. Uh. Almadria sure has been busy since the contest began. This isn't Almadria's doing. You mean she didn't build this? The body, yes. However, my guess is that the engine comes from a starship. A starship? As in one of those vessels used to go to and from Lenegas? Correct. The technology employed on Lenegas and in starships is more advanced than anything in our daily lives. Almadria may be resourceful, but she could never produce an engine like this on her own. You mean to tell me we've got even bigger enemies waiting for us up in the sky? Ugh, my head hurts just thinking about it. Don't worry about that for now. Just focus on taking care of Almadria. <laughs> should come in handy. As I recall, there's a recipe we've yet to try. Yeah, this is the last ingredient we need. 
Then let's go ahead and prepare it. No backing down! Glacial I see one, eh? Here's the evil! Demon Pack! 
this thing. Now I'm 
I'm real mad. Anything in armor is all mine. Supernova. Throw it back. I can carve through armor. Burn. Here's a healing art. Demon flame. I'll tear you apart. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. Tectonic punch. Ready. Here I come. Demon flame. All your things come to an end. No further. Here we go Demon again. The enemy wields our truth. Let's see about that. Leave the charge. Come to me. Annihilation. I'm on it. On the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. She sure spared no expense on her castle. This must be... The captain's quarters. The presence of the spirit vessel and the sheer extravagance on display can leave no doubt. There's no one here. Yeah, but I doubt she's out for a moonlight stroll. You think she jumped ship and ran away again? I doubt it. The conniving witch is probably up to something. Agreed. In any case, as long as she hasn't suddenly sprouted wings, she has to be somewhere on the ship. Let's keep looking. Daring us to come find her. Yeah, like it's all some damn game to her. the ship's cargo? What a pain. I can't see anything past all this stuff. Be on your guard. For all we know, there could be something hiding around here.
forgive you! on the ropes. Did that get rid of the barrier? We'll just have to go back and check.
What's this thing? What's this thing? place to look straight ahead there she is Almadria but all alone watch yourselves she's probably planning something <laughs> I was getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my, and I see you came along as well, Dan Witch. Halmadria. What's this? I thought you couldn't stand the sight of me. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide like a rat you are. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain to so many others? That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we friends live. Those with power set the example, and those with power are forced to obey. Though you two seem to have forgotten that's the way these things work. And you really think that justifies your actions? You turned all those people into a hollowed sea! What foolishness. It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit, I did fan the flames just a tad back in the ends. But it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Ultimately, it was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. The atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Ren and Authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Such ignorance is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't more Dolly. These people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. <sighs> my, what a shock. I never would have expected you to claim mere slaves as your companions. If I didn't know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. You are nothing compared to Dohalim. Rinwell. He would never stand by and laugh. His people hollowed! Ha! <laughs> what does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now... You will witness what that power is truly capable of! Mesmold! Enjoy your meal! Heh! Such 
sad eyes, child. Let me reunite you with your parents. Shut up! I'm gonna take you down if it's the very last thing I do! <laughs> That's right. Loathe me. Every step brings you closer to being me! You're wrong! You're wrong! I'm nothing like you! In a bind,
You murdered my mother and father. <gasps> but I'm not like you. Rinwell. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So, I won't kill you. I'll take you in, and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me, with your foolish, useless pity? A Danon, Nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to... It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because you'll atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. Swordsman again. Oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? No, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Silence now, wretched sick. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name, Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more.
come and find me. If you truly are the Sovereign. After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. Might as well walk. As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. wanted to go back to Dana to my home Alfin Niori
for me? No. Aori. Wait, please. Wait, I... I... What was that? <sighs> that... How long ago was that? <sighs> That's right. Shion! everyone. I need to find them. Better start looking.
Niori. Shion. I... Well. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you all right? E yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Rinwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Walron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Walron's here, that means Xion's close too, right? Xion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village.
You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? It's pop. The whole town was built by Dan and defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. <laughs> Say, Alfin. It looks like you got your face back, then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <sighs> I wonder if Alfin's going to be okay. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. You're saying we should check the Owl Forest? Boy, am I glad to see you safe. Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword, the strange powers you possess, 
They were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maid and they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenigus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... you staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the Crown Contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... <laughs> That's right. Pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter only for it to slip my mind. Then, when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. 
But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Listen, what you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. This is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. Shion's rest. You, what do the others think? You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. What are you... What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Alfin, right!
Look sharp, people. If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! We can't let even a single one through! There's a firm no Zuko policy. Fine by me. Let's get to work then. Look, it's over! Swarm of them! Are you armed even yet? That's like a good shield! Hit the soul pack! Eliminate the soul! You okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village. Especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie, some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. My rage, this fury I feel at our so-called rulers, it comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home. They took everything from me, and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone, but not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bonds with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xi'an comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xi'an. Then we defeat Volron and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum. Sounds like a plan. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before... Okay. What? <laughs> Is that so? Okay. Great job.
I'll teach these. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. Saying we should check the alpha forest. <laughs> you sense one of your pals, Hoodle? This place is thick with foliage. I know. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Hmm. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elda Menencia Pride. What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But wh what about Xion? All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped, right? That's right. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. 
Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renin like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the Maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori, then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones. So deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow every- Alone. I'm all alone. Let's go. We don't want to keep...
Archie on waiting. Going to climb? The villagers managed it on their escape from the city. We're going in the opposite direction, but where there's a whip. Looks like truck Together we've got this! Here we go! to grow.
my fists are crushing it out there! What's this thing?
I've still got a ways to go. I've never stood so close to a waterfall like this before. I bet it'd feel real refreshing to take a shower underneath this water. You're welcome to try, but that water pressure would like... to pull through. Boost art? 
Yeah, it was off the charts. Pierced by light. I call it the Rindo Special. say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. In the water's edge, I see but for a moment, one... How much farther? I don't think we're even halfway there yet. This one will be difficult to predict. had room to grow. Poodle's hungry. Funny. I could have sworn that was your stomach making all the racket.
What is this place? Careful. We've got company. Doesn't look like we're getting past without a fight. Watch your feet. Fall from here and it's curtains. to get past. Get out of our way. Save your breath. All that thing sees is a talking meal. So let's show it how wrong it is. Is it trying to stop us? Go past it. We're away from it. The flash is part of weak point. Uh, Eat dirt. Hell no. 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 Dragon and Demon Tank! Elusive D in the Air thrust! Dragon show! Charge like that could easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop it. Lightning can Anything in order is all This one's all mine! 
Fauna like that? I'm impressed so many people from Thistle made it through here alive. Who's to say there weren't a whole lot more of them who didn't? <gasps> well, at any rate, it should be a safer climb now that we've cleared the way a bit, right? No. So long as people feel the need to face terrain this perilous, I'd say true safety some way off. You mean defeating Volron and putting an end to the crown contest, right? <laughs> I guess that would be the best solution here, huh? We've wasted enough time here already. Let's get going. Xion needs us.
We did it. We've reached the top of the mountain. <sighs> About damn time. My knees are singing symphonies over here. Look, there it is. That's it. That's Pelegion, the seat of Voron's power. So that's where Shion's being held? Most likely. Most likely? That is what I said, yes. Pelegion's still our best lead. So that's where we go, right? Any advice before we head in there? No. No? In the ancient tongue, Ganeth Heros means Fortress of Knot. Though I fail to see what insight that nugget of trivia holds. I guess I just thought you might have something we could use. Since Volron became Lord, the only thing this realm has been known for is its Shroud of Secrecy. It is Volron's stronghold. All else is incidental. Just keep in mind that you can't be too careful inside. Speaking of which, just how are all of us planning to get inside, exactly? It's not like there are any secret passages. We've come this far. If there's no other way in, I guess we'll just have to use the front gate. Volron told us to come find him, which means he's expecting us. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Land of water or no, this place has a most curious atmosphere. I'd be taking a dip in it if the circumstance...